Right, the chase qualifier is next. Oh, we've got a smaller field in this one, just 12 this time. Same trip, but over the larger obstacles. Call Me Angel is at the top for Padre Gogan, Mujahid Isaacs for Derek Hinton, Savage Garden for Graham Clutterbuck. A little misfortune for Martin Lidham, hit the heights for Graham Clutterbuck. Blissful fly past Thomas Rogers, fight the power, Craig Beckwith, Lady Balmont. Padre Hogan, Bandana Man Crusher for Thomas Rogers, Young Flannel, Stu Gray, Dress Rehearsal, Paul Rhodes and Ravioli for Stu Gray as well. So 12 of them in this then, wrong silks again. And here we go on another Red Arrows fly past now, which don't know where we go. So who's going to be the one to take it up? Quite a few front runners in. This is a get to the first, which they're all safely over. Hit the heights was in the lead, but it looks like a little bit fortune is going to try and get through into the lead, which is boxed in at the moment. And boxed in by Thomas Rogers' fly, this full fly pass, but they're already over the first couple, making their way down towards the next. And this is a ditch, the third, and they're all safely over that. And it's Lady Balmont who's now gone on into the lead from Stablemate Call Me Angel. So those two are pulling away. Mujahid Isaac is in third, then. Hit the heights and blissful fly past after that one then. Bandana Man Crush, a little misfortune. His next not been able to get to the front today. Then Ravioli and Savage Garden. As they come down towards the fourth. And they pop over that one nicely. The Lady Bailmont and Call Me Angel. Little misfortune has now managed to get out. And he's going to come through the challenge for the lead. Likes to bowl along in front of that one. And has now got to the lead and immediately taken on again though by Lady Balmont. A little misfortune and Lady Balmont who are now pulling clear of Hit the Heights and Mujahid Isaacs. Then Call Me Angel and Savage Garden fight the powers after that one and blissful fly past in a gap to dress rehearsal. Young Flannel as they get over the sixth. Which they're all over okay. One or two nods on landing. Pace has certainly quickened since Little Miss Fortune got into the lead. And she's now gone five lengths clear of Lady Balmont. Two of the others being pushed along already. And ten furlongs still to go. They come into the seventh. Little Miss Fortune though, does have a knack of falling or just hitting the wall in the final furlong. So clear by six. Stu Gray's favourite horse of the season. Absolutely adores this horse of mine. Little misfortune, he can't stop talking about it. Uh, Savage Garden is in second. And fight the power as they get over the eighth. Oh, they're all safely over the eighth. And fight the power's moving to second. Mujahid Isaacs is third. And they get over the ninth. And the lead for Little Misfortune is now down to a little more than a length. As hit the heights and Mujahid Isaacs come through the challenge. Then fight the power. Savage Garden also come around the outside. Are oh, Young Flannel and Ravioli. They get to the tenth, which they all get over nicely. Little misfortune just leading by about a length now into the eleventh. Oh, she was nearly down there. She comes to take a chance or two now and again, and hit the heights has now gone on. Of course, if he was commentating, he'd be saying, "I'm doing this on purpose." That runs badly and gets a lower weight in the final. Anyway, hit the heights from Little Misfortune on the inside. Then Blissful fly past Mujahid Isaacs. He's after that. Then Young Flannel. They're really bunched up now. And he wouldn't rule anything out. Lady Balmont, the early leader, is now the back marker. Uh, hit the heights and Little Misfortune is still disputing the lead. There's a line of about four of them queuing up, ready to take them on, though. And hit the heights comes into the third last. A really good jump, though, by Little Misfortune on the inside. Sees her go back into the lead. Mujahid Isaacs is second. Then Blissful fly past. Hit the heights. He's after that one. They've got two more to take. And a little misfortune being joined again by Mujahid Isaacs as they take the second last. They land together. Chasing them in third. His blissful fly pass. Then comes Savage Garden. Hit the heights. Lady Balmont is now running on again. But it's Mujahid Isaacs who's in front. Little Miss Fortune on the inside. There's only one more fence to take. And it's Mujahid Isaacs who's in the lead. Mujahid Isaacs is starting to pull away now. Savage Garden's trying to chase. Little Miss Fortune is beaten. Lady Belmont is running on like a rocket on the outside. But it's going to be Mujahid Isaacs that takes it. Lady Belmont second. This will fall past third. Then Savage Garden and Dress Rehearsal. And all the way back. And 
a little misfortune may have finished last in the end. Oh, she did. So there, yeah, Stu will no doubt have something to say about that. And it's Mujahid Isaacs the winner. I don't know who for at this point. It's Derek Hinton. So Mujahid Isaacs for Derek Hinton the winner. Lady Belmont Patrick Hogan second. Blissful Fly Plus Thomas Rogers third. Savage Garden Graham Clutterbuck fourth. And dress rehearsal for Paul Rhodes was fifth. <laughs>